Tejas holds a special place in the Indian Air Force's fleet as it is India's first indigenously developed fighter aircraft. Over the years, India has successfully created multiple variants of the Tejas, showcasing its growing expertise in defense technology. Now, the Indian Air Force is making robust preparations for the Tejas Mark II aircraft. Unlike before, the Air Force itself will oversee the aircraft's management, including software updates and upgrades, with a dedicated unit being established for this purpose. Hello and welcome to News Affairs. The production of the Tejas Mark I Alpha aircraft is currently underway. While the most advanced version, Tejas Mark II, is in development, these cutting-edge aircraft are expected to be deployed by 2029-30. Their induction into the Indian Air Force will significantly enhance India's military strength, particularly in the domain of indigenous fighter jets. With their arrival, the Indian defense sector is poised for substantial growth elevating the country's position in the global defense market. India is gearing up to reduce its reliance on foreign aircraft like the Rafale and Sukhoi 30 from France and Russia. Efforts to accelerate the development of the Tejas Mark II are already underway. The Indian government is establishing facilities within the Air Force to ensure greater self-reliance. These facilities aim to minimize dependence on Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, enabling the Air Force to independently manage the maintenance and servicing of these aircraft. The Indian Air Force is building an in-house team specifically for Tejas Mark II. This team will handle software updates and integrate new weaponry, streamlining maintenance and overhaul processes. As a result, India's air defense capabilities will be significantly strengthened. Curious to know what else the Indian Air Force is doing for Tejas Mark II? Watch the video till the end for more details. The Tejas Mark II aircraft is set to be a game changer for the Indian Air Force. With this development, the Air Force is preparing to take greater control moving beyond its dependence on Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. In this video, we will first discuss the measures the Air Force is taking to strengthen its capabilities for the Tejas Mark II. Then, we will explore why this aircraft is being hailed as a revolutionary addition to India's defense forces. There was a time when India relied entirely on foreign-made aircraft for its air power. The country lacked any indigenous fighter jet. However, the arrival of the Tejas Mark II marks a significant shift, symbolizing India's journey towards self-reliance in defense. In the past, India relied heavily on importing weapons and equipment from other countries, including aircraft. This left India vulnerable to restrictions imposed by nations like China. Despite having an arsenal of weapons, none were domestically produced. However, India has steadily pursued its mission of self-reliance in defense. Today, the nation has reached a point where it is developing advanced and powerful weapons for all three branches of its armed forces. Let's take a closer look at the growing strength of India's indigenous weapons. The development of Tejas has left India's adversaries unsettled. India began working on the Tejas aircraft many years ago. But without external assistance, the process took considerable time to reach fusion. It was Adal Bihari Vajpayee who named the aircraft Tejas, symbolizing radiance and strength. Its maiden flight brought renewed hope to the Indian Air Force. Today, Tejas plays a vital role showcasing its capabilities within the Indian Air Force fleet. Over time, more advanced versions of Tejas have been developed. Currently, the production of the Tejas Mark I Alpha is underway, marking another step forward in India's journey towards self-reliance in defense technology. 
The Indian Air Force has placed significant orders for Tejas aircraft, recognizing the excellence of the Tejas Mark I Alpha. However, as time progressed, the need for more advanced and powerful aircraft became evident to strengthen the Air Force further. India aimed to reduce its dependence on foreign aircraft from countries like France and Russia by developing its own multi-role fighter jet. This vision led to the initiation of the Tejas Mark II development program. One significant advantage of the Tejas Mark II is that its development paved the way for the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft Program, which began in the year 2019. The AMCA is India's first stealth aircraft incorporating cutting-edge and highly advanced technologies that are both sophisticated and expensive. Several advanced techniques developed for the AMCA have been integrated into the Tejas Mark II, making it a formidable aircraft. While stealth technology has not been included in the Tejas Mark II to keep costs in check, its avionics and software are being designed with exceptional precision and modernity. This software is also upgradable, ensuring the aircraft remains state-of-the-art over time. To integrate new weapons into this aircraft, a dedicated software team and hardware unit are essential. Currently, the Indian Air Force relies heavily on HAL for such upgrades in Tejas aircraft, making the program significantly more expensive. To address this issue, the Indian Air Force is establishing its own maintenance unit for this aircraft. This initiative will reduce its dependency on HAL and lower the overall cost of aircraft maintenance. The Tejas Mark II aircraft is designed with a service life of 40 years. During this period, periodic maintenance overhauls and weapon integrations will be required. This proactive step by the Indian Air Force will not only streamline operations but also strengthen India's defense capabilities. The Indian Air Force's in-house unit will independently upgrade the software and weapons of the aircraft, enhancing their capabilities over time. This will also eliminate delays caused by the transfer of government files to HAL for assistance. The establishment of this unit signals India's commitment to producing a large number of Tejas Mark II aircraft. The Indian Air Force has high expectations from this aircraft. The Tejas Mark II is capable of flying at a top speed of Mark 1.8 and can cover a range of up to 3000 km without requiring refueling after takeoff. With its weapon payload, the aircraft's weight can reach up to 13,500 kg, further solidifying its status as a highly capable addition to India's defense arsenal. The Tejas Mark II can ascend to an altitude of 52,000 feet and is equipped with nine hardpoints. It also features a 23mm twin-barrel cannon. This aircraft is capable of launching missiles both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground. It can carry up to six different types of missiles, including Derby, Python 5, R-73, Astra, Asram, and Meteor. Additionally, it can be armed with the BrahMos NG anti-ship missile for air-to-ground attacks, significantly enhancing its combat capabilities. These features make the Tejas Mark II a formidable and highly versatile fighter jet. India has significantly reduced the weight of the BrahMos NG missile, enabling its integration with advanced platforms like the Tejas Mark II. This aircraft is also capable of deploying laser-guided bombs, glide bombs and cluster munitions, further enhancing its versatility. 
The Tejas Mark II is so advanced that Brazil has already initiated discussions with India regarding its potential acquisition. It has the potential to surpass even the Rafale in terms of sophistication as it incorporates cutting-edge technologies derived from the AMCA program. Once inducted into the Indian Air Force, the Tejas Mark II is likely to see strong demand globally. Many nations may choose it to enhance their air power, which would also provide a significant boost to India's defense industry. This development positions India among the elite group of nations regarded as leading suppliers of advanced air defense technology. The induction of Tejas Mark II into the Indian Air Force will significantly weaken the strategic positions of China and Pakistan. Currently, India relies on advanced aircraft like Rafale and Sukhoi 30. With the arrival of Tejas Mark II, it has the potential to eventually replace the Sukhoi 30 and become the backbone of the Air Force. While the Sukhoi 30 is undergoing upgrades to remain operational until 2040, the addition of Tejas Mark II will further bolster the strength of the Indian Air Force. The development of Tejas Mark II is expected to take another 5 to 6 years, but its advancements during this period will make it an even more formidable fighter jet. HAL currently has a large order for Tejas Mark I Alpha, and once these are delivered, India will shift its focus on accelerating the production of Tejas Mark II. By that time, India is also expected to begin producing fighter jet engines domestically, adding to its self-reliance in defense. We hope that you have liked the video. What are your thoughts on the Indian Air Force's Tejas Mark II aircraft? Please share your views in the comments. And thanks for watching the video till the end. Jai Hind!